Alright, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're doing another LEGO review, because we just, we got all the sets, except three, which are pre-ordered from the LEGO website, which is the Pyraptor set, the Nizuto Ceratops set, and the Jurassic Park set. We even just, I just got my hands on the Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus set, but you'll have to be patient with me. I still haven't built it yet. And I also got the Metal Therizinosaurus and Morris Intrepidus, but I want to focus on this set. Oh, it's very tempting to build that right now, but I want to make a video for you guys. I reckon I'll post them every six hours. So we'll get this set first, the green T-Rex. Then we'll have the blue Pteranodon Jr. set. And then we'll, if if there's new marketing material, we might make a video on that. And then we'll do Giga and Theory set. And then we might review the Mattel toys, so they'll be fine. But here it is, this set. Now, this is extremely cool. It's, I mean, it's very fluorescent -y, like it's very bright I guess it's not exactly the colors you would expect like because you'd expect something more camouflage to fit in with nature but it's still cool nonetheless because we haven't gotten a green t-rex since 2011 and unfortunately I did not manage to pick up the 2011 uh, t-rexes I did get the brown triceratops and brown pteranodon however so I'm quite happy with that and now that I've got a green t-rex I don't care as much I'm very happy with this. So this is an extremely cool toy and I will be comparing it with every other Tyrannosaurus from the Jurassic World line. So stay tuned. But first we have Zara. So this is an exclusive figure to this set. There is only uh, one other Zara Lego minifigure which came with the 2018 T-Rex set. And yeah, I have them all together for the Fallen Kingdom line. So I just like to have them lined up there. But Yes, this is the only figure we're getting in Dominion 2. You have to buy the Junior set to get this Zara minifigure. And then if you want Franklin, you have to buy the Nizuto Ceratops, aka Triceratops is what they're calling it because they didn't want to buy a new mold. <laughs> but still cool because I have, I have all of them, so I'll have every character and that's alright with me. Now this, it's um... I do really appreciate, like, the flair. And look... It doesn't matter as much. This is a junior set, and in the Jurassic Park set, we're getting actual proper flares. I just don't really like the gap between it there. I reckon it could have been cool, but again, I don't want to complain because I know we are getting really good flares in the Jurassic Park set, and I've bought that, so I really don't want to complain about it at all, and I just want to love this set. In the back is a little egg. Uh, I believe you can... It, it's not meant to be on, but I put it on because it looks better. Um, and of course, Owen. So in the junior sets, Owen has new clothing, except in the all the, like, however, 8 plus sets, like the main ones, uh, Owen just has the exact same shirt. So it's a bit weird. But yeah, if you want different Owens, buy the junior sets. So that's pretty good. Then we have this guy. I believe he is uh, US Fish and Wildlife Service Department of the interior so I believe he works for that um, which is obviously like wildlife and uh, I do believe uh, in Jurassic World Evolution 2 the team was working with like the nature uh, place the wildlife service so this is extremely cool that we're getting it in a set I really love just the green patterning on all of this and we don't always get enclosure type of sets so it's really cool to see that we have like this gate. Now what you can do is you turn this and this, it is a bit like loose, but still it, it gets the job done if you pose it correctly. So yeah, you can have it on its side and then you can have it out long. So it's really cool what you can do with all of this. And then we have this Junior's helicopter. I believe we have, this is the exact same model from like uh, the 2018 line except just like I believe they do that with all the juniors helicopter sets so it's completely fine um again like I mean for a junior set I mean sure like you get way less pieces in junior sets but that's kind of because you get like the big this helicopter you don't have to build it it's just well, well you have to add pieces like the yellow and white on but this whole green thing you don't have to build it so I kind of like that easiness like, if you want to get a set done quickly, buy one of these ones. It's really good. So, 
yeah, I believe what I want to do is a comparison of every single T-Rex from the Jurassic World line. Not Lego Dino, because I don't have that. But, like, all the canon T-Rexes that are within the range of, uh, like, 76,000. So, like, if they have the number 76,000 or 75,000 on the box, then I'm going to count them in. Um, yeah, so, obviously, we start off with the 2015 T-Rex. And then I have a second one because the 2018 Juniors set provided as well. So that's really cool. And then this is probably my favorite one, the 2018 one. Uh, yeah, it's just, I really love the design of that. And then we have the 2019 one that came with the Volcano and Dynamax set. I need to move my stuff out the way. So I'll just place this over here if that's okay. So we can just like have every single T-Rex all together. And I have got the big one as well. So we're gonna have a full thing. So the colors are kind of consistent with brown. It's a bit, un I wouldn't say boring because I love the designs and if you separate them out, they look really awesome. But uh, when you add the green T-Rex one in, I reckon it'll look super awesome. So this is the 2022 one, the official Jurassic World Dominion Rexy. It's, so it's came out the same year as this. Then we have the skeleton one, actually, which came out last year, 2021. I'd say it's meant to be like the Jurassic Park build because, you know, uh, and they, it, like, the only time we've seen a T-Rex skeleton in the franchise really was from uh, Jurassic Park. And then when it we revisited the Visitor's Center in uh, Jurassic World and Camp Cretaceous. So... Here is absolutely every T-Rex from the Jurassic World line. Now, if anyone uh, in the comments tells me I'm missing a Lego set 4000031, please, just don't. I'm not spending $1,000 for one T-Rex. I know it's like a 1 in 500. Oh, no, there were only 500 made of it, but no, I do not want to, Like, sure, like... I've spent over $3,000 on a collection, but that's for multiple things, like massive gates, massive mansions. I'm not spending $1,000 on one single T-Rex. No, no, no. I mean, if it was a T-Rex build kind of like this, then maybe I would consider, but like, no, I don't really want to spend $1,000 on one single T-Rex that is this size. But um, this is every single T-Rex throughout the Jurassic World history. Wow, wow, wow. Can we just, yeah, that is just awesome. Yeah, so really glad I could do the evolution of T-Rex's video now that I have built this and the rest of the set. Let me know what you guys think of this set and do you like the T-Rex evolution that I've done? I am, I'm quite happy. Yes, yes, yes. Can't wait to like uh, put Giga in the collection too because I have it now, so I can put it up against the T Rex and also Theory. We can do a 1v1v1, that'll be awesome. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.